Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cup of Christ video. Just a reminder, don't forget that next week is the Q&A. If you have questions that you want me to answer, go to the link below in the description and you can ask those questions there so that I can get those together for next week. I am so excited to be back here again. Y'all, this week and weekend was a stressful one. God definitely brought me through it and I don't know how he did it, but he is faithful and all I can just say is I'm so thankful that God's got him on my side because <laughs> I don't know how I got through this week. It really was God. <laughs> but you know, even today, God just reminded me how wonderful and how great he actually is. He reminded me how faithful he is. And for me, I tend to, I take it for granted. And I know I shouldn't. And I, I, it's something that I'm working on every day. But today, God really reminded me how faithful he is to us. Especially when we take him for granted, he is always there for us. And I have no words to express my gratitude towards him. But I'm just thankful that I'm here today. And I'm ready to share with you what he has placed on my heart. Because, you know, he gives us lessons every day. He helps us to get through things. He uses certain situations to help teach us what he wants to tell us, you know, how we can better improve ourselves. You know, when I first started this channel, I had asked the Lord and I told him, I said, you know, use me so that I can speak to others. I don't know how you're going to do it. I have no speaking experience, as y'all can tell. I have, I have noticed when I go back and I watch a lot of my videos, I say um a lot and you know and you guys, you guys. Um, I don't mean to, it's just one of those fillers that I have to learn to cut out. Especially when I have to think about what I'm saying, I end up saying um and I think I say so too a lot. but. I told the Lord when I first started, I said, I am so sick and tired of having this desire in me, having this desire to start this, but I keep pushing it off to the side because I'm afraid, because I'm terrified, and I am tired of dreaming about it. And there have been, there were moments where I, I would dream about doing this. <laughs> And it was God's way of telling me to step out in faith, but I was so scared because I was afraid of what other people would think. I, would, I was afraid of their opinion, and I, was, I really was afraid. I was afraid of doing this and stepping out in faith, but when I did it, it's something that was kind of a relief for me. And I think I said that in one of my previous videos, that it was this big old weight just lifted off my shoulder. Because I stepped out in faith, and I took the leap, and... Here I am, you know, I don't know which, how many videos this has been. I'm still improving, I'm still learning. There are probably a lot of things I'm doing wrong with these videos, but it was just the simple fact that I have to start these videos. And I will be honest guys, sometimes I do not want to do this just because I feel discouraged. I feel like I, you know, nobody cares, <laughs> um, that nobody is really listening to me. and. And I get discouraged because I'm thinking, well, then why am I doing these videos? What is the whole point? But it's all about obedience. See, we can't see the harvest right out, right out front. I think sometimes we want that hap to happen. We want to see everything right now. You know, we want to see him working right now. The thing that I've learned since starting this channel is that I have to be willing to listen to the Lord. I have to be willing to take time with him to ask him for his guidance. I can't just get up on here, make these videos, you know, edit them a little bit and then just post them up. It's about consecrating myself. Because I could be saying so much and so many words and yet it's not getting through to you because I'm not asking the Lord. I'm not seeking him. I'm not learning from him. I'm not staying still and being silent and listening to his voice. And in doing these videos, I've learned my confidence is not in the stability of my own feet, you know, my own ways or my own um, experiences, it's about having confidence that whatever I do, wherever I go, His hand is over my life. And I believe that's why I hadn't started it for a long time because even though God planted the seed of desire to do this years ago, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to obey Him and listen to what He had to say. I had a lot of growing up to do. And the thing is, I'm still growing up. I'm still learning. Um, there have been many mistakes that I have made. I have tried to, re you know, kind of resolve them and try to patch them up. But because I didn't seek the Lord's face and because I didn't 
you know, I, I didn't want to ask him for guidance. I ended up making a big old mess of things and you know, some things I can't resolve and that's okay because God will still use it for good. Um, because now I'm learning to make sure that he is in every decision I make, that he is the one guiding me. But we also have to learn to not force his hand. We have to learn to wait. When we try to take action, when we try to step in, you know, step ahead of the Lord or try to skip steps, we end up falling all flat on our face. And we want the blessings, we want all the beautiful things that the Lord has for us, but we don't want to go through the process to get them. You know, David was anointed, he was the, the anointed one, and yet he still had to go through what he went through so that he could learn how to trust in the Lord. That's why he was such a great king, because he learned what it was like to be at the very bottom. He learned what it was like to always be under attack. In the same manner, God is putting you through certain obstacles, certain situations <laughs> that while they seem horrible and, and, and they seem miserable and they're hard to go through, God is putting you through those things, those situations, so that he can bring out, bring out that king or queen that's in you. So my dad always says, don't look at the problems as obstacles or whatever. Look at them as opportunities, opportunities to see God work, to see what God can do in our life. And the thing is, is that, yeah, it could have been easier for David if he would have just end all of his pain and killed Saul right then and there. His pain would have been gone. He would have been fleeing and everything would have been great. But that wasn't the plan. That wasn't God's plan. And because of that, and because he obeyed the Lord, God was able to use everything that, that David went through to help him be a better king. Because David realized, I have to rely on the Lord. I have to trust God. I have to ask God where I need to go. If God were to tell you when you were going to get your next promotion, when you were going to get a new car, when you were going to get uh, married, when you were going to have kids, when you are going to graduate college, if he were to tell you all of that, the, the specific times and, and show you his schedule. Be honest here, would you really trust him? I mean, I know for a fact I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna lie, that's, that, that's what I would do. I would not have the trust and the confidence in the Lord. I would, because he already told me when it's gonna happen, I wouldn't go to him anymore. I wouldn't, I wouldn't seek his face and ask him for patience because I already knew the timeline. I already knew when everything was gonna happen. And then I wouldn't have a, an actual relationship with him, with him because I already knew when everything was gonna happen. That's not how God works. And the thing is that the situations that we go through are meant to help us grow, are meant to be there to strengthen us and strengthen, we learn patience, we learn how to forgive, we learn to at times keep our mouth shut. <laughs> when we should, when we shouldn't say anything, we learn to keep our mouth shut. <laughs> God won't give us what we want because he's not our genie. He is our father and he wants to take care of us and he wants to remind us that he's got everything under control and he can see our future. He knows what we need. He knows the breaks that we need, but he knows this at the same time what struggles we can endure and what struggles are going to help us to be a better person. He wants us to grow spiritually and mature in him and in our walk with him. If you're going through a situation that you can't see any way out of, trust that God has a plan, but you have to make sure that your plans align with Him. You can't skip a step because I can guarantee that if you skip a step, if you want, if you try to get that blessing before it's supposed to be time, then you definitely will fall flat on your face and you will have to reap the consequences. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> and that's why I'm encouraging guys. I know it's tough. It, you know, going through the storms, no, I'm not even gonna lie. I told you this whole week was horrible, but you know, God brought me through and he still showed me, he still gave to me the, the promises and he still reminded me of my promises. So don't be discouraged. God is with you and God, and God will fulfill his plans in your life. And you've got to trust that he's going to take care of you. Thank you guys again so much for watching this really long video. Um, I hope it does encourage you just even a little bit. You guys are amazing and I'm so glad I have a family like you all. I am praying for you all. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you all next week. God bless you.